Hey gang, so I'm here today with a review for Sunshine Fire Toys' new fire poi heads. Um, Keegan Kuvax, the guy who runs the company, sent me a set of these heads a couple of months ago, actually, to give them a try and uh, put a review out for the rest of y'all. Um, so, first and foremost, kind of the gory basics of these. Uh, these are kind of, um, so overall, they're these kind of egg-shaped heads that are uh, lanyard folds using Kevlar tape. Uh, so they're very similar to, say, like Moonblaze heads, but the big difference is, is that the tape kind of comes to a little bit of a taper. So as you can see at the uh, top and the bottom of these heads, they kind of uh, come to a round edge rather than the square edge that we'd expect from uh, a Moonblaze or a Cherry Bomb head. Um, Kuvac's theory on this is that what causes those fire poi heads to break down after a while is that the material starts coming apart uh, at the very edges of those boxes, and uh, as it comes apart, uh, the absorbent quality of the head starts to break down, and thus he thinks that um, you'll get longer and more consistent performance out of heads that have these rounded ends to them. Um, I actually have an old pair of Moonblazes right here with me, and indeed, um, the wear and tear to them, that is those points at which you know you start seeing the Kevlar turning white and fraying, definitely do happen at those very tips of what would look to be the square if you were looking at it head on, right? Uh, so I uh, lit them up for a couple burn tests here in my backyard and also used them uh, a couple weekends ago at Floyd Fest uh, for all of my performances at, the, at that music festival. Um, so the dry weight of these is roughly uh, 5 ounces a piece and then the wet weight of them is uh, about 7.7 .7 ounces. So they pick up about uh, 2.7 ounces of fuel when you dip them. Uh, the initial burn time for them both was uh, right around five minutes. So the performance of them is just about equivalent to what you would find with a uh, three and a half inch Moonblaze slash Cherry Bomb head. In terms of the long term uh, kind of capacity for these to resist wear and tear, I don't know just yet. What I can tell you is that um, I did use these heavily that weekend at Floyd Fest and while I can see a blackening of them uh, at either end of the heads, uh, overall there's absolutely you know, no kind of sign that those little white uh, kind of crispy ends to the Kevlar are beginning to form or anything like that. Uh, there's still plenty of area on these where the Kevlar looks relatively fresh and has uh, kept at least a little bit of its color. Um, overall, the thing that I like most about them is that they feel remarkably similar to what Moonblaze feel like. Um, I've used a lot of other options that are, you know, kind of similar, like monkey fists and things like that, and they just never quite feel right to me. Like Moonblaze just feel right, and these feel close enough to Moonblaze to me that I just I don't even notice the difference. Um, another thing that I really like about these is the attachment point for um, the split ring that connects it to the rest of the hardware, which is connected to a recessed bolt that is inside the head. Um, the reason that I like this is that most frequently on uh, Moonblaze and Cherry Fists, there's kind of a washer on the top of the head that presents a lot of surface area. And the more surface area there is to, for metal that's in contact with the head, the more likely it is you'll get a burn if, say, you try and do something like uh, you know, spiral wraps and things like that. And this presents very, very little hardware. Um, which I like overall. Um, it should be noted that the tethers I'm using here um, are the old tethers that I got from Crispy Clowns last fall. So um, if you order these heads on Sunshine Fire Tools, the tether options that you get are, uh, are a bit different from this. Overall impressions, um, I'm happy with these actually. I'm, I'm going to keep on using these. Um, I'm really, really curious to see if overall the wear pattern works out the way that uh, uh, Kuvach believes it does. Uh, if it does, um, expect a follow-up review in uh, several months. Overall, um, the weight's really good, the burn time's really consistent, and it presents uh, a less hardware to, for which to burn my hands with, which I am a big fan of because I frequently forget to wear any kind of protection on my hands when I'm doing spiral wraps. The, the price is pretty comparable to uh, Moonblazes, and uh, the performance of them is really consistent. So, I mean, if you're looking for fire poi heads, these definitely are a good option. Um, and, you know, we'll look towards the long term to see if indeed uh, this particular shape is more uh, deterrent to wear than a normal Moonblaze 
head is. So, uh, Keegan, thanks so much for sending these to me. I've enjoyed using them, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope those of you guys out there that are playing with these uh, have as good an experience with them as I did. And uh, by all means, if you've uh, gotten a hold of a set of heads like these and you've been using them for a good long time, please uh, send me your impressions of them because I'm really curious about uh, the long-term performance of these. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have yourselves a good week. I'll be back next week with uh, some more tech for y'all. Peace. Hey gang, this video was sponsored by Harmonic Threads. They created this hoodie as well as the tops that I'll be wearing all month long in my videos. As a male fire dancer, it's really a challenge sometimes to find nifty looking clothes that are still fire safe. Harmonic Threads is filling in the gap with fire safe and stylish clothes for both men and women. You can visit their Etsy shop by clicking on the link in the description of this video and use the promo code DREXFACTOR to get 10% off of your order. Thank you so much to Harmonic Threads for helping me create these videos. If you or someone that you know has learned something from one of the videos that I've created, please consider going to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up to be a supporter. There you'll get access to a lot of behind the scenes content as well as some great rewards, plus which you'll be helping me create educational flow arts content for people the world over.